Morning guys. Today we're going to take a look at some algebraic examples of both interior angle and exterior angle problems. Specifically, let's take a look together at page 6 of the Unit 8 Classwork Packet, question 15. Question 15 is kind of innocuous, right? Like it doesn't seem all that hard, but maybe it actually is, right? Um, it says find the measure of angle B. Okay, rewind. First things first. I'm dealing with interior angles here. How do I know that? Because they're inside the figure. Step two, how many degrees are inside this figure? Can anybody tell me? Well, it has one, two, three, four sides. That makes it a quadrilateral, right? So step one here would be as follows. I need to figure out how many degrees are inside the figure. So I'm gonna use m minus two times 180, plug in four for n, 4 minus 2 is 2, and 2 times 180 is 360. Okay? So what I've established here is that there are 360 degrees inside a quadrilateral. Okay, so if there are 360 degrees inside, can you guys tell me what the equation would be that I should set up? Guess what? Combine like terms and solve. Okay? So I add all these up and set them equal to 360. So step two here would be to write this ginormous equation. Let's do it. 8x plus 7 plus 14x minus 11 plus 10x plus 13. Oh my god. I'm going to run on a board space here. All right. So technically speaking, there's this horrific looking equation. Many of you guys I know will probably prefer to just start combining like terms before you write it. And I suppose that's okay. Like I'm not going to mark you off. Just make sure you don't make any silly mistakes with your integers, right? Okay, so 8x and 14x make 22x. 22x and 10x make 32x. 32x and 5x make 37x. All right, so I combine those, right? 7 minus 11 is negative 4. Negative 4 plus 13 is positive 9. And 9 plus 18 is 27. All right, from here, guys, it's actually a relatively simple equation. Two steps. Subtract 27 from both sides. So that gives me 37x equals, let's see, then I got to borrow here, 333. How do I get rid of a multiplied 37? I divide by 37 on both sides. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to take a guess and say that x equals 9. Let's see if I'm right. All right, 37 times 9. 7 times 9 is 63. 27. Yay, I'm right. Okay, here's the problem though. If I were to just be like, ah, oh, I'm done, I get it wrong. Why would I get this problem wrong? Because I didn't read the question. The question actually says to find the measure of angle B. So, what I have to do, once again, is take that and substitute back in to find the value of the measure of angle B. So, in this case, I would say 8 times 9 plus 7. That's, I'm so sorry, I can't multiply. 72 plus 7, that would be 79 degrees. Alright? So, in sum, no pun intended, if you're dealing with an interior angles problem, first figure out how many degrees there are inside, set up an equation, right, and solve. The next one we're going to take a look at is number 16. I'll step aside here for a second if you want to pause me so you can write this down, take a break, get some tea, coffee, whatever the case might be, okay, hopefully not a Red Bull. Uh, all right, next up is number 16. I'm actually not going to draw this one, partly because, like, I'm hopeless at drawing, but also because I want you guys to notice something about it on your own. Count out the sides. How many sides do I have? One, two, three. I don't even know. Hold on. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do you guys count ten sides? Hold on. Let me count that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, I count ten sides. So it's a decagon, right? But it's not just any decagon. It's a regular decagon. Let me say that again. It's a regular decagon. How do I know that? Because of the tick marks that tell me all the sides are the same. Okay, regular decagon, interior angles. Hmm. 
So for this one, I'm going to need this formula right here to figure out what each of those itty bitty angles actually is. So with that being said, let's start plugging in, shall we? 10 minus 2 times 180 all over 10. Where did I get 10 from? Decagon, 10 sides, and is 10. That means 8 times 180 over 10. This is a case, guys, where I strongly encourage you to simplify by using a GCF. 180 over 10 becomes 18 over 1, right? And thus, all I have to do here is 18 times 8 using the standard multiplication algorithm, and I get 144. That's not my answer, though. 144 is actually what that itty-bitty angle inside, I mean, not so itty-bitty, but that's, that's what that angle inside is going to be. That 10x plus 4 is equivalent to 144. So in algebraic language, this is the equation that I would write. Solve using inverse operations, and lo and behold, I am done. All right. So notice that in this particular case, they didn't actually explicitly use the word regular, did they? No, they did not. In this case, they simply showed us it was regular using tick marks. So make sure you're on the lookout for all their little tricks. Okay. Last but not least, we're going to take a look at number 17. And again, I know better than to try to actually draw this. So instead, we're going to talk it through and then we'll work out the algebra up here. All right, first things first, for example, 17, do you guys think it's an interior or an exterior angles problem? Come on now, what does logic tell you? Where are the angles, inside or outside? They're outside, right? So what did we learn? What do the angles outside a polygon always add up to? 360. So guess what, people? All I have to do is write an equation, combine like terms, and set it equal to 360. Let's go. So 5x plus 4 plus 4x plus 9. Oh my gosh, so many angles. Plus 9x minus 6 plus 4x plus 1. Oh my god, I'm going to run out of space. Plus 7x plus 4. There we go. Equals 360. I'll move by ugly old head so you guys can see that equation again guys literally it's just combining like terms right so 5x 4x make 9x 9x and 9x make 18x plus 4x is 22x plus 7x is 29x now let's deal with the constants 4 and 9 make 13 13 minus 6 is 7 7 plus 1 is 8 8 plus 4 is 12 all right so I've taken a monstrous equation and turned it into a two-step. Isn't that nice? So subtract 12 from both sides, and I get 29x equals 348. And now I need to divide both sides through by 29. All right. This is actually simple enough to do using the standard division algorithm. 29 goes into 34 once. Subtract, uh, <laughs> subtract 29, and I get remainder 5. Bring down the 8. 20, oh, it goes in evenly. How nice is that? It goes in twice. All right. So in this particular case, x would equal 12. As I said earlier, just be on the lookout. Every so often, they will ask you guys to figure out like maybe some specific angle there. I didn't do that in this case, but it is possible you may see something like that on the unit 8 test.